What's the latest on Shohei Otani, John? Dan, good morning. Uh, for Shohei Otani and the Angels right now, they're actually playing pretty good baseball. They've won seven out of nine, and now they have their playoff odds moving up towards 16%. Uh, so what I'm being told by sources, Dan, they're going to wait until this series wraps up in Detroit and then their weekend series in Toronto. So we're still probably waiting until Sunday to know if they're truly buying or selling. Wait, so it's that tenuous? It's that tenuous. It's that tenuous. Potentially the most significant trade in North American pro sports since Gretzky is riding on the next five games <laughs> for the Los Angeles Angels. And one of those series will be in Canada, in Toronto, right uh, right up the block from Wayne Gretzky's restaurant, if it's still there. Exactly. Not too far from Brampton, Ontario, where uh, number 99 is from. But no, it's it's a great wow. point, Dan. And it's, it's one of the more amazing stories in sports, not just what happens with Shohei in the coming days, but also where he ends up playing as of opening day next year. And, and it really is a global story that, at least from my perspective, we can't talk about enough. I thought it was wishful reporting. Like, we we like chaos. We like change. We like when stars move around. I grew up in an era, I'm sure you did too, where your stars usually stayed with the same team. I get the, you know, capitalism, free market, all of that. But let's look at this logically. If you were going to trade for Shohei Otani, first of all, the Angels are going to get prospects, I'm guessing. So then you got Mike Trout, and you're going to be in a rebuild which to me doesn't make sense. If I'm going to trade for him, he's got to sign with me. But then if I'm going to trade for him, they're willing to trade him. Why not wait until the end of the season when he's a free agent? I don't give up my farm system. I know I have to pay $600 million. I just don't understand the logic. Help me understand the logic of this with a team that would trade for Otani. We'll start there, sure. and then we'll go to the Angels. Sure, Dan. It's a great question. And I think at the outset, I'll, I'll make clear that there's a pretty big gap between the Angels being willing to move him and a trade actually happening. Okay. Because to your point, for the Angels to move a player of this caliber, especially when they're playing better, you're going to have to buy them out of the chance to contend with Shohei for the balance of this season. And very importantly, Dan, to potentially see him hit home run number 60 in your uniform. Let's reflect on that photo for a moment and how many places that photograph will hang for a long time, home run number 60 or beyond for Shohei Otani and the value to your brand in doing that. So I think the reason why you bring him in now is because he does have a manifestly massive impact on your brand on your team, he may well be the MVP. So it's certainly the type of rental player and impact. You go back and think about the 08 Dodgers and how Manny Ramirez changed that team. It's that kind of, a, of an impact at the middle part of the season. But Dan, to your point, for you to make this trade, you have to be quite sure that you're already going to the playoffs and you'll have him potentially make you a, a World Series team. And also that you would have two or three of the top hundred prospects in the sport to make it worth the angels while that is a really narrow road to turn and, and navigate. And one of the reasons why I still think the odds are likely that Otani stays in Anaheim through the rest of this season. Yeah. I, I, I like the possibility of chaos here, but I understand the logic of just the business side of this. I can't trade for him if I don't know if he's going to resign. And if, he wants to go to market, which it sounds like his agent wants him to go, you know, saying he's earned the right to be a free agent. I'll just wait. If I'm the Dodgers, I don't have to give up my farm system. Or if Tampa Bay wants to get in, uh, Baltimore, I think you've talked about, maybe the Diamondbacks. Is it going to be an American League team? If Otani would be traded, would it be an American League team he would go to? You know, Dan, it's a great question. I don't think it's necessarily the case. I think that broadly speaking, we could see an NL team get him. Uh, and you mentioned a few teams that are really intriguing, uh, like the Rays, like the Orioles, like the D-backs. Those three teams in particular are better than expected this year. And he could make a massive impact on them for a couple months. And if he helps them win a World Series, if he helps... Uh, if he gets himself to 60 home runs in that uniform, we have to take a bit of a step back and say, 
Shohei is a global icon in the way of, let's borrow from a different sport right now. Think about what Lionel Messi is doing right now for soccer in South Florida and in our country, broadly speaking. The kit that he's wearing in Miami is instantly, with a couple weeks worth of games, becoming one of the fastest selling bits of sports memorabilia in the world. Now, Shohei and Messi are different in some ways, but the global sports comparison, I think, is appropriate here to where if you're the Rays, the Diamondbacks, um, the Orioles, the chances of him signing with you next year are quite remote because I do think the Dodgers have a pretty good home field advantage there. So this is your shot Hmm. to have your messy moment (laughs) is right now. And, And there certainly is a reasonable price to be paid to have that chance.